This is the Raspberry Pi 3 in a black case and we will use it for the N3 mod but first we must disassemble it. So in here I am disassembling it from the case. Um, I'll speed this up because it's quite a long process and the fan is actually quite loud so I'll be replacing that with a Noctua fan. So once I've got all the screws out, you can see the Raspberry Pi and the memory card. And I've placed several heat sinks over the modules. So the next step is to download the case that goes underneath the LCD. Uh, it came out pretty good. There's some retraction issues and you can see just a bit of ghosting. But overall it looks pretty good. By the way this print took about 9 hours and it doesn't need any screws or zip ties for the Raspberry Pi as you can see. It's almost a snug fit and it fits perfectly fine for the Raspberry Pi 3. So we will be placing that under here underneath the LCD screen. Of course to accomplish this we have to first take off the screen and make sure you save those screws and once you've done that all you need to do is take off the four screws underneath the screen now because of the design uh, the, the design only takes in three screws So once you've got the screen all disassembled, just attach the screen to the case and attach the three screws. The fourth screw 
or has a mounting blade on the case so you will need a screw for that Once that process is done, you see that I'm trying to wiggle it back into the aluminium frame and then add back the two screws and in the future I also will be printing a an attachment for the ribbon cables for the LCD screen so it's more organized and also be I will also be printing an double drawer to keep all my tools Once the two screws are back in, you can put back the cable in its original location and initially you should have something like this and then once you add in the case it should look more like this. So the last step is to add in the USB cable that is connected to the printer. And then you have to add in the power micro USB for the Raspberry Pi.